hi guys welcome back to our journey i was made to worship first of all thank you for the support and today i'm just going to share a few habits of what i had to let go of and the things that i believe one of one of you can let go of in order to become the best healthiest version of themselves to glow the few day-to-day -day things that we consistently and often we ignore that lead us onto that path and to becoming the person that we don't really desire to be you get so we are here making healthy changes at the beginning of every, every year people are like let me make a plan this is what i'm going to do life is going to be different and do this and that at the end of the day before the year even ends we are not there so today before the year ends <laughs> and before we begin a new year let's begin preparing for the new year and the few little habits that you have to let go of Personally, some things I had to let go, most of these. It's a list of like 20 things that I had to let go of in order for me to become the person that I desire to be, to show up as my best self. First, the number one is procrastinating. I've been procrastinating about the things that I want when I want to do them. And it never really does go well for me because at the end of the day they are not done like i make resolutions and i'm going to say okay i'm going to do this now so i end up letting myself down because i'm not exactly doing the things that i really wanted to do when i had to do them i am always assuming there's time that's number two that assumption that i can do this tomorrow i can do it yeah that every 24 hours every second that goes you can never get it back so i just stopped wasting my time and doing things that do not serve me so i stopped procrastinating and doing things when i say i am going to do them i stopped i stopped the self-sabotaging myself like i'm not honest kind gracious with myself like i am to others that's self-sabotaging like i want to do something i want to go somewhere or be somewhere but i am not showing up like that for myself so that's self-sabotaging and it is stopping me to getting not only to my bag but also to achieving the goals and the things that i really want to do i stopped trying to be something else or someone else you get I'm a people pleaser. I love to make sure everyone else is comfortable. So most times I really get out of my way to support and help others. On the other hand, people will not give you the same grace or support. Above all, they will take advantage of that. So I just stopped putting my life on hold in order to make sure everyone that I care about is moving on the same path or going to the same direction that I am. So I chose to choose me and try not being someone else and trying to please other people. You get? I stopped the negative self-talk, like <laughs> giving yourself like, oh, this one will... Things always don't work out for me. Oh, I'm going to try that. I'm not going to do it. Oh, I like this. Thinking of all the negative things about myself, I just stopped. Everything about me is Gucci. It's fine. It's the best. And it's according to me. And that's what I tell myself, those positive things into myself every day. I think positively about myself, where I want to go, where I want to see myself, where everything of mine is the stages and levels that I want to be at everything is positive in my brain that's what I tell myself and I that's it so I just stopped the negative self-talk I stopped worrying too much I can worry about myself <laughs> the next tomorrow yesterday what's ahead of me the people around me I worry because I'm a control freak I want everything to make sure everything is in control everything is moving on past so i just stopped controlling everything and worrying about everyone else's problem <laughs> and mine not even being problems looking at them like opportunities and things that i have to work on but not problems so i stopped the negative self-talk you never hear me say anything negative about myself i'm the best at everything i mean everything you get so i just stopped i don't worry i stopped because most of the times I'm home, so I would sit a lot. You get, I'm not an outdoors person. I do love the outdoors, but I need me some great company to 
really enjoy that i enjoy myself and doing things in the house so i used to sit a lot you work at home you sit and do your work and then you do whatever you want i just got tired and i'm like every day i have to walk to get up and walk i can walk around the house i can walk in the yard i can walk around and do something i walk somewhere and just have a look at different things but i have to make sure i do some movements with my body you get i avoid stressing you get most of the sicknesses that are inflammation based they can because of too much stress too much worrying if you can't solve it it will be there schedule it another time and then you know you will work on it slowly let it not stress you reduce of the stress cut it out whatever stresses you out cut it out put it to the back burner and you have to make sure you're sane and happy most of the time so i did cut out my stress you get and then eating food because it sounds good you know how you go to these restaurants and you don't even know <laughs> what it is that they are selling but the name sounds good or oh, it sounds exotic and you just eat it looks good the picture you just eat now i'm conscious about what i'm eating is it healthy is it not because it's affordable but not because it sounds good but just eating something because it's healthy i worry about the things i put into my body and the things that i ingest in me in my brain i just worry about everything because i want to make sure that i'm really having everything healthy like healthy 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 in everything you get i stopped skipping sleep because i'm one person that i would go to bed at three sleep for two hours and then i'm up you get i'm awake doing something that i actually sometimes don't even need to be maybe being on the phone or watching a movie or doing something and i use not to take sleep that serious i can sleep whenever you want now i give myself a particular time i'm like okay this time i have to go to bed so i wake up i get and go to bed <laughs> so i stopped skipping sleep and thinking i can sleep whenever i want so i have a regular schedule like around this time at least be in bed if i take one two hours to sleep yes but i'm in bed you get drinking not drinking enough water water is life and this body is made up of water so I used not like to drink and I was getting a lot of constipation problems because I was not eating and I was not drinking. You get when I eat, I just eat something because I just want to fill my stomach. And when I drink, I'm not really drinking that much. So now I eat my food <laughs> regularly, a healthy diet, a balanced diet, and I drink my water and mm, everything is just good staying in relationships that don't serve you <laughs> that you don't deserve in. this could be with your partner it can be with your friends it could be with family members if a relationship does not serve you stay out of it don't be there because you trying to play someone or they're trying to you worried of what will happen if you leave them and you're not supporting them in any way or the other i just walk out i stay away i keep my boundaries and keep my peace you get not setting boundaries was something that i had to let go of because i'm a very principled person but the people around me often take advantage of my boundaries because i be nice i be smiling even when i'm telling you that that's a boundary you're crossing you can easily think you can step on it and keep pushing and pushing pushing and people give them an inch they'll take a mile <laughs> They keep pushing and pushing and pushing, but I'm very principled. So sometimes I would not necessarily give consequences. I would eliminate myself or people would just never know. Like they just think they can just get away with any boundary of mine that they cross. So I'm just like, I have boundaries. And when you cross them, you've crossed them. I just, I don't have time to explain because you know exactly what it is that you was doing and you know exactly what it is that I can stand and what I can take. So I stopped compromising my boundaries and I enforce them and I know the repercussions for everyone. Now you're going to step on a few toes and that's okay. Should be ready for that and 
that's fine i mean at the end of the day you're going to and you have to please yourself not the personnel that is stepping on your boundary please yourself okay staying around people that don't serve you now it's i'm not saying cut out everyone but if that's what you need to do cut them off because you can't keep staying around people that do not see you for who you are they do not see where you're heading to they do not see what value you bring onto the table you know your worth you know the value you bring and whatever they do not see or respect cut it off and put yourself out of the equation make them more comfortable to be the kind of person they want to be you get they can't have it both i have boundaries and you respect that or stay out of my space it's that simple so i had to cut off people friends family for the sanity of me and for the betterment of myself so i'm just like some things have to go i stopped setting unrealistic expectations on myself like realistically i can work out in the house but why should i be like i'm going to the i'll be going to the gym possibly three four times a week i know i'm not going to i know the gym is very far from me i know i can't but i know i can set it expectations that i will work out in the house i can do that it's within an arm's length like i can do it in the house i'll make sure i do my exercise so i stopped setting up unrealistic expectations which were leading me to failure because i damn well know i will not do it so i stopped I stopped impulsive buying buying things because oh this is trending oh I see this and I like it I was that person so I just stopped that has helped me save lots of money that has helped me stay more focused and buy things with intentions and things that I don't like I take them back or I don't use them or I don't get them so I'm not impulsively buying or getting things in any way so I stopped that I stopped spending without planning yes I plan for my money and I know this is exactly what I need and how I'm going to need to spend my money now people cross my mind when you make me spend my money where I it was not my plan to spend it that's the boundary and the big boundary I plan and I know when and where and how I need to spend my money any other way I'm not doing it like I'm not spending my money on things that do not bring that I've not planned for and I need to spend on. So I stopped that and kind of I can see my coins sometimes you get I sometimes you get overeating and indulging in snacks. <laughs> that's me some people it's overeating and indulging in food for me i'm a snack person i'll have cookies i'll have chocolates i'll have any kind of snack apart from nuts <laughs> that kind of unhealthy was me so i did stop and i cut out i'm snacking on a, an apple or a fruit or something that is really healthy so with that it has helped me stay a little more healthy more focused more doing things and i stopped not planning you get i've already talked about planning so everything that i do is a little programmed to make sure that i'm cutting out those habits that i don't need and you're still here with me please subscribe i hope this was helpful and it will help you to get to the best version of yourself indulge into becoming a better person you cut out a few things and then you keep the ones that you need as you're cutting out you're adding the new habit the good habits and cutting out the bad habits before you know it you're brand new and you're this other person feeling good and loving yourself so for that subscribe and shalom <laughs> being alone this is exactly what i'm talking about so now my video ended and guess what i have to check out all right bye bye